Okay, after this is done, we can add some dirt on it because nothing is clean in the world. Everything has uh, have some dirt on it. So uh, press fill layer, call it dirt. And disable metal height normal AO roughness too because we don't want to, the dirt to be rough, like to, to be glossy. Oh, it's, it's so bright. Okay. Change the color to brownish. Okay, to brownish, this is, I think, the color of the dirt. Press. Right, add black mass again, add generator to it. And now we can use the presets called dirt. Okay, so, well, okay, you have the dirt. There's a lot of the dirt, we don't want that much. Uh, so, you can play with the parameters. Uh, and decrease the dirt level we want it to be subtle so okay 0 0.5 let's see 0 0.5 is barely visible you can see it okay so let's make it higher a bit 0 0.65 was okay i think we can play with the con contrast of the dirt. Okay, so if, if the dirt contrast is zero, it will spread on onto the mesh more. And if it's one, it, it won't. So you can play with this too. There's too much of it. So 0 0.5 was good. Ah, use triplanar. You can Tug it on, toggle it on. So basically, a triplanar is the way to map the texture onto the mesh. That's the best to hide the, the seams. So the seams, they will be barely visible. So if you want to hide the seams, just use triplanar. Okay, so I think this is uh, okay. This looks nice. And uh, uh, we can I think we, we can add more dirt to to the cavities but I, I I'm not sure if it will work so this is general dirt so we can call it general dirt uh, we can duplicate this layer by pressing ctrl D so we will have the copy of it let's call it uh, cavities dirt and uh, let's remove this generator. Let's add new generator. And just, we can add mask editor. So our own generator, it looks weird. And uh, we can play with parameters. So drag down and uh, in curvature, uh, move it down like click this and we don't want it to to mask the edges but we want it to mask cavities so yeah this will go into the place where we, we had our scratches so yeah it, it looks nice but it's too much so you can play with these values again you can tweak everything if you want. You can invert it, but but this looks awful. So you hide it and then just play with balance of it. So I, I want it to be subtle, not that much. So let's see. Yeah, this, this is okay. Maybe a little more. Let's see the contrast. Okay, this, this looks okay. This looks nice. So 
So the last step is adding some I don't know, it is called signs or your own drone sign signs, I don't know. So we can we can let's first do let's do a folder so we can keep it clean, let's call it dirt. Or we can call it yeah the dirt, let's call it dirt. And drag those two dirts onto it. So we have, uh, I think edge color we can drag onto base color. Uh, when you drag it to base color, move it above everything so it will pop out yeah, in front of everything. And we can close it. Texture, just keep it uh, alone. Okay, let's add a new layer called, a new layer, just add new layer. Move it outside of the base color. Call it uh, sign, and uh, now move down. If you want it to make it to have a color, you can check color on. So if you draw something on it, for example, here you have you have alphas. Uh, for example, this, uh, this will be an example. If you want to make the brush bigger, there's a shortcut uh, control, uh, right mouse button, and you drag right to make it bigger, drag left to make it smaller. Okay, so uh, if you want it to have a color, for example, here you want it to be red, change it to red, and you can draw it, it will be red. But if you don't want the color, you just want it to, to change the height, just disable the color. And now you, uh, it's, it's not visible. Uh, just make the height for indented and click. So this won't change the color, but will indent onto the mesh. But uh, I think I'll, I will, I will, uh, do the color. I want it to be the edge color, so the highlight one. My, uh, my computer is slow, so that's why it's it's so slow. So you have to wait. Okay, it's uh, okay. It's working again. Uh, I had to wait. Let's save it <laughs> because uh, I could lose everything. Okay, so um, uh, I change the color to the edge color and I, I make the height below zero so it will indent onto the mesh. And for example, if you want to add uh, a sign here, just pre press, why oh, it's so small, I don't know. Make the size bigger. Okay, now it's working. I don't know why. Okay, but but we don't want to use the alpha. Like if you want, you can use it. But uh, I will draw my own oh, my my own. So go to brushes. Pick any any brush that you like. Chose artistic heavy sponge. Uh, let's drag the height to a very subtle amount. Okay, this is so nice. This is okay. Uh, for me, it's I think the color is too bright, so I'll make it darker a bit. So yeah, for example, let's see this one. Okay, this 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 is okay. And I will make the, the logo of, of the first stone. So let me see the reference of the rock. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, hello again. Uh, I had to stop 
um, recording because my my computer crashed but but luckily the the footage was saved so so uh, so yeah nice <laughs> so I can upload again uh, so we left at at the sign yeah if I remember correct I, I wanted to show the picture so so I will do it now if if, if it won't crash so let's see the rock I will drag it here as you can see this, there's this is the the rock okay so let's examine the sign let's make it bigger okay the sign is like this okay so I will copy that onto my rock so let's find the, the, the good spot for this I think this one is correct it's good okay so uh, height is okay base color is okay let's, let's let's see again I don't don't worry if, if uh, the rock doesn't look that good like on the picture we will uh, do the rendering stuff so it will look better so let's increase a bit the size of the brush Here I will enable pen pressure because I, I have a tablet, so this will make me. So basically, I can I can make some details. I think I I want it to be more indent, so I will slightly move it to the left and just draw inside it okay it doesn't look great uh, but it's okay okay it's okay i think The color is quite uh, weird, but uh, you can change it here. Let's see the color. Okay, just 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 leave it. This is this is uh, okay. Okay, so now we can rotate the environment to to see how lights affect it. So. It's not here, it's here. Let's rotate our environment. Okay. Yeah, the rock looks nice, I think. Okay, so this is fire final part. Like, no, no, I will I will have one more if you want with rendering so if you you like this just just let me know uh, and here also we can do something like this if you want the gradient to be above the edge just move it above the edge so basically it will cover uh, from the bottom it will cover those uh, edges white edges uh, as you can see so this will make it more smoother but I think uh, the before results looks looks better so I will move it back down uh, I think we can change the color of the gradient to make it stronger okay I think they were a bit reddish looks cool 
for me so we can also change the color of the sign to, to reddish so pick the color from here Leave, leave it like this and if you want to add some more adjustments you can add the uh, levels to this and you can play with the color after before after I still don't know which one is better okay never mind okay so I think this is done and uh, now let's make a folder called rock and put everything in it okay so this is our final rock and in the next part I will do the rendering of it like post-processing so see you